Good morning, everybody. This is First Alert meteorologist Chris Vickers on a beautiful, <laughs> sunny day in the middle of winter on my favorite day of the year. All right, I'm kidding. It's not my favorite day of the year, but Groundhog Day. <laughs> We've got Scott Carpenter with the Toledo Metro Parks out here and Tiffany, Tiffany Tarpley. Why? So we're going around town. We're showing Tiffany all of our favorite spots around town, and I had to choose the world-class, world-famous Toledo Metro Park. Scott, do you agree on that? Of course I agree on that. <laughs> welcome uh, w welcome to Toledo, uh, back to Toledo, Thank and you. welcome to the Keneally Treehouse Village. Tiffany, your first I impression mean, so far. I mean, my eyes got really wide when I drove here. This is pretty cool. It's, it's impressive, actually, and I've never stepped foot in a tree house, but it's going to happen today. It's going to happen today. So we want to welcome you on in. <laughs> Tiffany, you're going to be monitoring Facebook. I'm trying so to. I'm if trying anybody to has the, questions, yes. we've got the expert Scott Carpenter here. He's going to answer the questions about this beautiful treehouse village. Scott, can we welcome everybody on in and give us the basic information of this unique one of a kind place that really is, is, is so unique and special to this area? Sure, yeah, well, welcome again. Uh, we are at Oak Openings Preserve, uh, where we added this 500-acre addition to the preserve. For those who are familiar with Wildwood, that's 500 acres. So uh, Oak Openings Preserve is 10 times larger, wow. and this addition itself is the size of Wildwood. Uh, so on a small piece of that 500 acres, we have the Keneally Treehouse Village, which opened this summer and uh, has five tree houses and three tent platforms, which I know you're familiar with, Chris. Um, <laughs> coming up here is the, uh, the common tree house, Flatwood Commons. That's a day use facility where you can hold a board meeting or a baby shower or uh, have a family party uh, in normal times anyway. And uh, we have four overnight tree houses and the, again, the three tent platforms where you can camp in tents or hammocks and spend the night in the trees. Spend the night in the trees. Uh, <laughs> you're thinking this is luxury though, right? And it, and it actually is. Tiffany, you had a yeah. chance to actually see inside of one of these. What was your thought when, you're, when you first heard you could spend the night in the oh, woods no. up in a tree house and then you saw what was going <laughs> on inside? Well, sometimes you think like camp, like I think of, I'm not an outdoorsy person like you, Chris, right? Like I, I've not spent the night on campgrounds outside in a tent or anything like that. So I, I needed to make sure there was at least some sort of luxury in there. And it's very nice. It's very, very nice, nice like, and very I, luxurious. Yes, yes. Lug luxurious. <laughs> for, for a tree house. Yes, it definitely is. So I can definitely see myself spending the night. Scott, I say the Metro Parks are just beautiful any time of the year. The setting like today on a beautiful winter day where the sun is out. These are busy places even in the middle of winter. They are, and you know, during uh, during these times over the last year, we've been even busier than than normal. So last year we had a record visitation at the at all the metro parks, about five and a half million people. Wow! Um, that was in 1920. We had about six million people. Of course, we had some new parks too. So there are nine 19 metro parks today. Uh, again, Oak Openings is the largest and one of the one of the most popular. One of the most popular, you guys keep adding attractions like this. Families could get out and enjoy uh, stuff, but there's also a multi-purpose use to this metro or to this part of the Treehouse Village. Uh, there is, yeah. In fact, running right through here is uh, part of our 12-mile mountain bike trail, which was built by mountain bikers for mountain bikers, and it's been tremendously wow. successful. I think we had 80,000 people use the, the, the uh, uh, Beach Ridge Trail last year and uh it just grows in popularity people come from all over to use it um which is we kind of think is fun because you don't think of mountain and toledo <laughs> in the same <laughs> sentence but what they've done is built in some wonderful uh obstacles to make it cha a challenging course yeah. and it's really uh really taken on a life of its own tiffany what are the chances we can get you on a mountain bike this summer i can do a mountain bike oh, yeah. um now how long i can stay on that mountain bike that's another story <laughs> but uh i can definitely do a mountain bike let's do it um yeah so i mean i can only imagine like you're you're uh, so popular popular place What's the best way to get in here? <laughs> uh, to, to, you got to be alert and uh, to find the place. You mean, no, or to, to, to be able to spend the night? Spend the night. Mm -hmm. So they have been very popular. Right mm -hmm. now, we're limiting uh, guests to Ohio residents, and even at that, um, we're booked up pretty much through this year and into some dates next year. But 
if you're persistent, give us a call. You can find uh, a night here or there. We're open year round, um, Wednesday through Sunday for okay. overnight stays. Um, by the way, we're coming up to, we mentioned the mountain bike trail. This is called the hub. And we're, I think we're gonna get to go inside. Uh, oh. And uh, it has a bicycle theme. Uh, oh, as, okay. a, and each of the tree houses has their own, their own theme. So we've got the hub, which is just behind us. So we're gonna get a chance to go inside this. Over the uh, way over there, that's the stable, correct? That is. Maybe an equestrian or horse theme to that. And that's actually the largest of the tree houses. That's correct, right? Oh. Correct, the stables is a six person uh, tree house. We have a pair of two person tree houses the one we're going to go in right now, the hub, is a four-person, so it has two bedrooms. And so if you have any questions, let us know because you can ask them. I'm monitoring Facebook here with my phone, so write them in there if you have any questions. We'll get them answered for I like you. that one about what dates are available because yeah. if you haven't booked one yet, you got to have your chance to get it because it's beautiful any yeah. time of the year. To be outdoors in the winter, and of course, so many people have been cooped up over the past 12 months and maybe haven't had those vacations that they were looking forward to. you got a vacation spot in right. your backyard, which is what's so cool about this. Yeah. yeah. To our knowledge, this is the only treehouse village in a public park anywhere. And uh, was uh, so the whole treehouse village was designed, by the way, by Pete Nelson from the Treehouse Masters Animal Planet TV show, formerly, uh, but built by our, our own talented construction crew. Oh, wow. And we did have Pete here in July when we opened the treehouse village, and he spent an, an hour afterwards walking around with the construction crew. Wow. So it was really nice to have them here. You guys are very meticulous too, not only on the design, respect for, for the environment and the natural habitat around, but also incorporating some very cool things uh, into the design and make, make these unique to each and every one. Yeah, each one has the theme carried through um, with some very nice, uh, I think, classy details. And as you, 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 you've been in, Chris, to the uh, stables, you know that's got the horse theme because of the popularity of the horse trails here at Oak Openings. This, ha this is the hub with the bicycle theme. All right, can we, can yeah. we, can we take really a look quick, inside? Really quick oh, yeah. though, yes. let's, let's give them a tease. Um, how many bedrooms is in the six person place? Uh, three. Okay, so Jamie, three. Three bedrooms in the six wants person. And talk prices <laughs> when you get okay. shit. <laughs> well, they all vary, but if you go to metroparksalito.com slash tree houses, you'll find uh, the, uh, all the details, including prices on each of the uh, unit. So, so it's going to vary too, but there's also tent platforms that you said that you could bring hammocks out in tents and they're very affordable for the family. Those could be, if you're a member, as little as 20 bucks for the night. Yeah, $30 a night, 20 if you're a member. So those are a very affordable cool. option. And I think you'll find each of these, I think 250 ish for the six person is the highest to go. So wow. people are usually pretty surprised by the, by the great yeah. rates. Okay, maybe your beach vacation got canceled last year. You have a little extra cash after that, maybe use it to cover the tree houses. Absolutely, how yeah, you can stay you, right oh, here. Sorry. How long do you get it? Like, um, you know, what's Well, you time? can reserve, I think, two nights in a row right now. Okay. But yep. like you start the day at, is check-in at two? Uh, three, um, three, three, after three, and then oh, okay. check out by 10 or 11 okay. in the morning. Okay. Easy yeah. enough, okay. you spend cool. all night out there, yeah, so. Go to a hotel. Uh, we think of it as camping or glamping in the trees. <laughs> it's a little nicer than, That's my than, uh, than, than roughing it. Oh, uh, you're about to see proof of that. This is not roughing it in the traditional sense. <laughs> as you welcome uh, uh, you and yourself and your family oh, into okay. this treehouse, take Here's a look this. at this. <laughs> Tiffany, what do you think? Welcome home, right? Listen, I love it. I, like, I just think about being, you know, secluded almost and just being able to enjoy the outdoors and come in, relax. This is pretty cool. So, so these uh, generally are, are, are gonna come with uh, amenities such as like a microwave, you've got your sink, you've got a mini fridge so you can cook up some snacks and have a good time. Yeah, all the tree houses come with grills too out on the oh, balconies see. and porches uh, so you can cook outside. And uh, speaking of the details, I mean, you can look at um, the, 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 drawer, the drawer handles and cabinet pulls were all handmade by a volunteer at our um, blacksmith shop at, Providence Metro Park in the, the Ludwig Mill. The uh, the sink bowls were were crafted out of tree stumps. Oh wow! So, so a lot of fine details. So and I'd this is the four person. Is that correct? Correct. So All right. Have, it's comfy. It's spacious. It does. It has a bedroom here and another one in the loft up above. <laughs> I'm just gonna make myself so. feel like I'm at home right <laughs> make now. Make yourself feels, at home. This feels great. So there is a loft up there, correct? There is. Yeah. So you got a loft. Um, so that's one of the bedrooms, another one right here. 
This one, by the way, this and the common tree house are accessible by ramps. So it, it, if, you, if you don't want to climb into the tree, this is the one that, uh, that you want to yeah. pick. Uh, they're wheelchair accessible as well. And so Tracy, just, just to, she was like, where is this? She lives in Delphi, Indiana. So um, we are at um, Oak Openings Metro Park. Yep, here in Swanton, Village, Ohio. Swanton. Beautiful Swanton, Ohio. Very unique uh, habitat as well, this area. Yeah, Oak Openings is truly one of the special places uh, really in the world. It's, uh, there are more rare and endangered plants and animals here than anywhere else in Ohio. I think a third of all the rare plants in the state are found right here in Oak Openings. That is very cool. Now, I got to tell you from personal experience, Paul, I'm going to take you back outside here, okay? <laughs> so you're going to you're gonna have to adjust, all right? So when I was out here uh, earlier... Uh, this year, uh, last year with the kids. Tiffany, uh, it's a little adventurous, all right? But there's things that you can do. I want to point out here, if you want to spend the night camping up in the crow's nest, you can spend the night camping up in the crow's nest. There's also many things that the kids can climb and get into. And, oh, Paul, look at this over here. It Be looks. Careful. It looks a little I wintry. Like I need to record. I need to record. Are, are we this. Are we ready on. to give oh, it a try? Because I'll tell you what, Oak Openings <laughs> is a place for fun. Tiffany wants to. Tiffany put me up to this. All right, so let it let it be known. We're we ready to do this. <sighs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Perfect. Uh, be careful, Chris. Oh, I could have fun out here all day. I could promise you that. So, Tiffany. Thoughts on the uh, Treehouse Village out at Oak Openings? I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to try to book for next year <laughs> if I can. Um, but it, it's really impressive. Like, I've never thought about spending the night in a treehouse, ever. So, <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> Tiffany, what's the chances we get you going down the slide? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero. I'm clumsy, just so you know. So, I'm afraid to do too much, especially in snow and ice. Um, so I'm going to let Chris do it all. I'm going to let him be adventurous. If it were summertime, I'd be right there with you. But, we'll book uh, it. Sounds good. All right. What do you say for today? Was it a wrap? It's good. All good. right. Everybody out here at Treehouse Bill Joke Openings, have a good one. Thanks, Chris. Uh.